What's up guys, Eli here, back for a new stuff video. It's gonna be all death metal today. Uh, a stack of stuff that I picked up from my good buddy David over at the uh, Doomed to Obscurity label. A, uh, a small, fairly new death metal label right from my, uh, from my neck in the woods, about an hour from me. Um, got a bunch of stuff here. Well, not too much, but we're gonna go through it. Uh, I am also gonna do a giveaway. Uh, it's been a while since I've done one. I think this is like my third giveaway. Um, as usual, no gimmicks involved. You don't have to gain me subs. You don't have to tell your friends about my channel. I simply just want to give stuff to you. <laughs> um, I'm gonna. I got two releases. Uh, I'll talk about them at the end. But uh, whoever wins this, uh, whoever wins is getting two free CDs from Doomed uh, to Obscurity. Uh, my way of giving back to you guys and uh, also maybe uh, turning you on to this label because I think. Um, if you're into, you know, uh, obscure, kind of long-forgotten death metal from the early to mid-90s, this is a really cool label that you might want to check out if you're one of those, you know, underground death metal diehard fans. Uh, there's going to be some stuff here that you definitely haven't ever heard of, so pretty cool. We'll, uh, we'll wait till the end of the video to, to talk about those and uh, how you can win them. First band we're going to be talking about is going to be N. Mortem from uh, Illinois. Death metal. These are all death metal bands. I, I don't need to say that, but... They were active from 1996 to 2002. Uh, so what, what you have on here, I think it's pretty much everything they ever did. Uh, 97, 98, and 99 demos plus a EP from 2000. So this is called uh, Displeasure, Sorrow, and Disgust. This is, uh, this is some pretty kick-ass stuff. I'd never heard of this band before, as you, know, you probably haven't either. This is some nice, mid-paced, chunky uh, death metal with a lot of groove. Um, there's some blast beats, but they're more mid-paced blast beats. Some nice use of uh, pinch harmonics. Uh, it's catchy. It was a fun listen, and yeah, I look forward to spending a little bit more time with it. In Mortem from Illinois. <laughs> Now, out of all these bands here, you know, this is the one that you're likely to, to probably or possibly have heard of. We're talking about Wicked Innocence from Utah. Uh, they were, uh, they've been active since 1988. They did have a break at one point. They weren't active that whole time, but a lot of it well, they were. Um, so what you have here is Remnants of a Dream Defaulted, third demo from 1993. I imagine this is the first time this has ever been repressed. So Wicked Innocence are a really cool band. They went on to be... They went on to be uh, kind of an experimental type death metal band. They have an album from that more experimental era, which is really, really good. I can't remember the name. I don't, I don't, that's like one of the few things from them I don't own. That would be my favorite, to be honest. Uh, the rest of their stuff, uh, they, they did one album after that, actually, that was a little bit too experimental. I, I didn't dig it. I don't even think the band probably you know, was too into it. Uh, but everything else they've done is pretty much more along the lines of, you know, primal, old school, you know, early 90s style death metal. Um, they're very heavy, uh, bordering the line of uh, almost like brutal death metal. Um, but really, really, really good. I haven't listened to this yet, but uh, I have most of this band's discography. So uh, I pretty much, whenever I see a release from them that I don't have, I snag it. And I, at this point, I think only maybe one or two releases uh, that I don't have. But ch yeah, look into Wicked Innocence, man. They've got some really good stuff. I think they're a bit underrated. Then from France, we've got Gore Stench with Stench of the Dead, uh, another band that I was unfamiliar with. Now, this one is more along the lines of your brutal death metal, almost gore grind at times, especially in the vocal department. Um, they, they were only active for like a year or so, about 98 to 99, and this is their only demo from 1999. But this is a very cool kind of obscurity, some you know, long lost French death metal. As you know, 
if you're a seasoned death metal fan, you know, France is not a country known for its death metal. You know, they mu you know, they got much more attention for their black metal and, and you know, uh, that's more than fair seeing as how they put out some of the best black metal ever made. But, you know, they had some cool death metal bands too and Gore Stench is definitely one of them. So if you're more into, you know, the brutal styles of death metal and even bordering on Gore Grind, check out Gore Stench. It's really cool stuff. <laughs> got the aptly named Hot Stove uh, from Illinois, active from uh, 93 to 95. And after that, in 95, they turned into a band that you actually probably have heard of called Waco Jesus, a band that went on to be kind of a, uh, a brutal death grind type band. But uh, they weren't really doing that on this one. This is more just your standard death metal fare. Um, you know, this has the... Uh, the demos they did uh, from 1993 and then 1995. So, I mean, despite Hot Stove turning into Waco Jesus, which would be a much faster band if I remember correctly, Hot Stove really aren't that much like Waco Jesus. So it's like they didn't just change their name, they changed their style too. What you have here on the 93 demo, you have, it's kind of just, uh, you know, that, that early, I would say even more mid-90s death metal when they were, uh, bands were kind of slowing down, uh, super down tuned with a lot of groove and when i say groove i don't use that as like a derogatory term i'm just saying there's some groove in there some catchiness that uh, kind of gets your head bobbing a little bit um and the the 95 demo is is I, I would say even slower um not not bordering uh like doom death territory or anything like that but just slow chug very super chuggy and and yet still catchy death metal really cool stuff uh definitely looking a hot stove whether you like Waco Jesus or not, I think you can get into this. It's this is probably my favorite of this stack here. <laughs> Now for the giveaway, all you got to do is just leave a comment saying I'm in, um, <laughs> or just leave a comment of saying whatever the fuck you want. Um, I, I, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but we got to keep it inside the U.S. Um, international shipping is just too expensive, but I'll, I'll ship anywhere in the U.S. I don't care if you live in Oregon or fucking New York City, um, but we got to keep it to the U.S. And I'm sorry to, I, I'm, I'm sorry to exclude, you know, my... Uh, you know, watchers in different countries. I love you guys just as much. I'm not trying to play favorites or anything like that. I, I promise. Love you. Love you guys. Uh, but the first one we're giving away, Septemberist Diabolic Delusions. I have this one in my collection as well. This is Death Metal from Wisconsin. Uh, they were active from 1994 to 1996. Uh, so what you have on here is the 94, 95 demos. And then I'll be giving away Execration with Excreted Guts, Death Metal out of Arizona, active just from like 91 to 92, roughly. Uh, and this has the uh, 91 and 92 demos that they put out. So two cool uh, compilations from Doomed to Obscurity. Uh, I'm really excited to give these away, and hopefully I can turn some of you guys on to the label. Um, uh, Ken over at Ken's Death Metal channel uh, ordered some stuff from David and he actually made a video recently uh, kind of highlighting or spotlighting the label and uh, I think that's really cool since Ken's channel is obviously way bigger than mine but uh, you know I, I you know I'm gonna keep supporting David and what he does I, I absolutely am a fan and I, I just think it's cool that uh, you know there's a, a death metal label up here where I live and he's a really 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 fucking good guy too so he deserves the support again if you're into you know obscure early to mid 90s death metal you're gonna find stuff you know on his his label that you've never even heard of he's digging up these these kind of old lost and forgotten gems and he's 
you know, wiping the dust off of them and re-releasing them, giving them proper, proper releases. So anyways, like I said, just leave a comment if you would like these. Um, I'll pick one winner and a uh, winner gets both CDs. So just my way of giving back to you guys because I really uh, I appreciate your friendship and, and your support and everything that you do. So anyways, uh, yeah, I'm done for now. I, uh, I'm going to wrap this up. We will talk soon. Thanks for stopping by. Fucking cheers, guys. Thank you.